this is Barry GATGN and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of my 30 terahertz receiver. It's basically a sensor, so if I just move in a little bit you can see the sensor just there in shot there. Just get that right. This is being fed by um, a 20 five centimeter parabolic reflector and the signal then I just pan round you can hear it's detecting me at the moment you hear the tone come on if I just move round to the other side of the receiver the uh, signal from the sensor is sent into an Arduino Uno and this is taking two measurements, uh, temperature measurements from the sensor. It's the uh, temperature of the object that the receiver is looking at and the temperature of the sensor itself. And it compares the two. And if the uh, measured temperature from the object is bigger than the temperature of the sensor, then that's an indication of the uh, signal strength of the received uh, uh, 30 terahertz signal. So if we come round again a bit further to look at the other side, uh, firstly on the top, I don't know if I can focus this in or not, uh, at the moment um, there's a LCD display on the top and this is saying no signal because it's not picking up a signal at the moment. Just trying to Get the thing in focus and then move my hand. Whoops, sorry, let's try that again. Notice my hand is now near the sensor and so the LCD is showing um, some values. If I take my hand away from the uh, sensor then we get no signal again. If I put my hand again in front of the sensor then we can see that the, the source temperature is 17.9, the ambient temperature, that's the sensor temperature, is 16.8, so there's a difference of about 1 degree Celsius um, between the two. And as I put my hand closer to the sensor, we can see that that difference goes up. And this is shown up um, in two ways. out again. It's shown firstly as a change in the meter reading. So if I can't try and do that, you see the meter comes up to indicate an increased signal level. And also you heard the audio tone from the receiver go up in pitch. So that's the way that you actually align the dish uh, for maximum signal from the, the distant uh, transmitter. Once we've aligned it, then we can uh, swap over to receive mode. So by just turning this switch from align to receive, and we notice now that nothing much is happening, and we will only now hear uh, a tone from the receiver uh, when we pick up a signal. So providing that the uh, temperature of the object that we're looking at, the, the transmitter if you like, the heat source, providing the measured temperature of that is bigger than the, the temperature of, of the background or the temperature of the, the sensor itself, then um, we will get an audio tone coming out from the, uh, from the receiver. And we can use this effectively to receive um, slow morse QRSS. It has to be slow morse because the sensor itself has quite a, a long response time, typically about one second. So the best we can do to communicate is to um, send very slow morse with, say, a one second uh, dot time. I'm just showing you the 
meter again and also you can listen to the tone on the align um, setting of the receiver. This is the Arduino based modulator for 30 terahertz uh, set up in the garden ready for its first uh, outdoor test. The um, cartridge heater is running at about 25 watts at the moment. It's quite a cold afternoon, probably only about 5 degrees. So the modulator is sending its uh, original test message at the moment. And if we just turn round to the other end of the link, it's down at the bottom of the garden. Well, hopefully that was my call sign at the end there. So this is at about uh, 15 metres at the moment. And the signal level is quite high, in fact. If we just have another look again, the, the temperature differential at the moment is on the dash is, is about 1.7 deg 1.9 degrees, it was saying there, towards the end of the, um, the dash, where the sensor had obviously um, picked up the, the total signal. It's partly due to the, um, uh, the slow response time of the sensor but the signal level seems to go up towards the end of a dash here. Anyway, that's, that's quite good. Um, the, if we just go back and have another look at the uh, sensor as it's tur the, sorry, the transmitter dish as it's turning round. If we actually look at the cartridge heater which is actually sat in the dish now it's actually glowing a dull red so that's because it's taking about 25 watts of um, power into it at the moment but luckily that's not too much with us being outside in the, the fairly cold uh, temperatures here well we're now up to 16 meters I have tried going further back onto the uh, raised decking here but the the dish is so um, has such a narrow beam width that it's very difficult to aim it at that distance. So uh, I tried putting books under the um, uh, under the baseboard of the receiver to tilt it, but I couldn't quite get the angle right. But even even where we are now, it's 
the beam is incredibly sharp on the receiver, incredibly sharp. So this is at 16 metres that uh, it's working at the moment. Here we have a prototype of a, a PIR sensor working as a 30 terahertz receiver. So we can hear the audio tone being switched on and off. It's switched on when the sensor is detecting some of the heat which is coming from the uh, resistor at the top of the picture. If I now turn up the speed of the chopper You can see it's easily detecting the rotation of the chopper at that point. If I turn the uh, motor speed on the chopper up too far, then you, you don't hear the breaks between the uh, detections of the signal. So you get what sounds like a continuous tone, which is there. <laughs> 